new campers pay close attention now. Learning to build a proper campfire takes years of experience. One wrong move and the whole thing can go up in flames. Uh oh, um, uh, looks like we got a little more fire than we need. Now, I, I hope you campers learn something from that. Whenever a fire gets out of control, you must always keep a cool head. Uh, yeah, now, just speaking of campfires reminds me of a story. Oh, no. Here we go again. It was a glorious morning at Camp Candy. Everywhere you looked, it was like being in heaven. The clear mountain air, the sparkling water of Lake Cacciatore. Why, the fragrance of wildflowers was so strong you could practically smell it. And the fantastic sounds that filled the air. Birds chirping, bullfrogs croaking. As for me, I was wailing away, blowing reveille on my trusty trumpet. No wonder the animals were croaking. Like I said, I just finished playing reveille, and now it was time to raise old glory. Rick, the flag, please. The morning flag raising is one of the most important ceremonies of summer camp. <laughs> You're supposed to be saluting, not giggling. Salute your underwear? <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Ew, how totally gross. <laughs> Score one for yours truly, dudes. Give me five, Alex. All right, if you insist. You gotta stop pulling these practical jokes of yours. One day somebody's gonna get hurt. Someone already did. I'll oh, get him for you, John. No, Binky, C come down. No, no, I, no, don't come down. Don't come down. I, I, no, I, I didn't mean that. Don't, don't make a move. Okay, uh, I'll come up, Binky. Just freeze. Just stay where you are. Yay, John! Way to go! Yeah. No, Binky, never mind my underwear. Hold on with both hands. Whoa! Ooh! See what happens when you go around climbing on things? Uh, John, are, are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, Iggy, I'll, I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Where's Binky? Here I am, John. Yahoo! <laughs> Luckily, Camp Candy has the latest state-of-the-art medical facilities under the supervision of our highly competent Nurse Molly. Ow! 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 Oh, now, John, stop acting like such a baby. Bandages don't hurt. Well, they do when you take them off. <laughs> Nurse Molly had sort of a crush on me. It, uh, it's a thing that sometimes happens to grown-ups. <laughs> Now, admit it, John. You fell off that flagpole just so you could be close to me, didn't you? <laughs> no, I didn't, Nurse Molly. Honest, <laughs> I didn't. You can just call me Molly. <laughs> Yo, ooh, it, it, it's getting kind of late. <laughs> I, I, I gotta get back to my camp. Suddenly, there she was, Miss Sweetingham. Just the sight of her made my heart flip over like a pancake and turned my legs into spaghetti. I called out her name. Sweetingham! John, you old sly boots. You did it again. Oh, the things we do for love. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the opposite shore of Lake Cacciatore, some sneaky things were going on. That's where Rex DeForest III lives. He's not a very nice man. You mean he's a crook? Well, no, not exactly a crook. <laughs> More like, uh, you, well, it, yeah, you could call him a crook. I already did. He's got this fellow Chester working for him. Chester doesn't have a whole lot in the brain department. If he were a light bulb, he'd barely be a nightlight. You know what I mean? Chester, you are looking at a complete and total yutz. <laughs> you boss, a yutz? Not only that, I'm also a dolt, a blockhead, a numbskull. Yeah, <laughs> what about goofball? That too. Uh, bug brain, uh, dipstick, uh, doofus. Uh, uh, uh. Enough already. I get the point. I'm not an idiot, you know. Oh, gee, too bad. I was just going to say idiot. Let, let 
letting that dimwit Candy build a summer camp on my property was the dumbest thing I've ever done. I must have that property back. Without it, I can't fulfill my lifelong dream of turning this entire forest into timeshare condo units. Who broke this flagpole? Oh, hey, not me, boss. Oh, honest. Oh, I never touched it. Oh, I swear. It doesn't matter. Soon, Camp Candy will be nothing but a memory. Just one more dream capsized in the vast ocean of life. <laughs> While back at Camp Candy, I was demonstrating some of the basic rules of boating safety. Now remember, campers, no jumping into the boat. Just step in one at a time. Do, do we have to? What if it turns over? There's probably sea serpents in this lake with great, big, humongous teeth. Now, Iggy, don't let your imagination run away with you, all right? Lesson one, you row with an easy, gentle stroke. Like this, stroke. Stroke. You see? Stroke. Nice and easy. Dad, stroke. He's the one who's gonna have the stroke. Really, this is so boring. Why can't we just hire a lake limo? Right. Oh, nice and easy there. There you go. See how you get a nice gentle stroke. Rick the slick does it again. Ooh, I'm hot today. Thanks, Rick the slick. Now we can't go rowing. I'll save you, John. No, Binky, come back. Hey, no! get the idea about boating safety. I got an idea. Let's uh, head back to the cabins where uh, where I can dry off. Boy, I thought they'd never leave. Yeah, let's finish our game. Ready, set, go. What do you call this game, anyway? I don't know. Leap something. I've got to admit it. Good old Camp Candy was off to a shaky start. And worse, little did I know that Rex DeForest Stooge Chester was hanging around, spying on the place. Okay, boss, I'm outside the boys' cabin. <laughs> Good. See what information you can pick up. Iggy, hey, my man, you gotta learn to chill out. Summer camp can be a mellow game. You just gotta go with the flow. Run with the tide. Get in motion with the ocean. Enough already. You're making me seasick. I'd still rather be back in the city. Mother Nature gives me the willies. Binky, will you please stop bouncing? All the dust is triggering my allergies. Huh? Achoo! What was that? Uh, I think it was a double. Now I'm headed for the girls' cabin. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Honestly, Alex, how do you expect me to style my hair with you kicking up all that wind? You're complaining? Have you any idea what that hairspray is doing to the ozone layer? Look, I didn't ask to come to this totally tacky summer camp. And I certainly didn't ask to share a cabin with a female commando. Female commando, am I? Oh! Hey! Uh, oh, will you please keep it down? Yo, boss, good news. Looks like these happy campers ain't so happy after all. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. If this keeps up, he'll have to shut the place down. What a glorious day that will be. Uh, further updates as they develop. Iggy, is it, is it true you want to leave Camp Candy? Don't take it personally, John. I'm just not cut out for life in the wilds. It's also so wild. Yeah, but, but look around at all the wonders of nature. 
The sweet smell of wildflowers. The crunch of pine needles beneath your feet. It's okay for the other kids, but my nose is used to the smell of taxi cat exhaust, and these feet like the feel of chewing gum on the sidewalk. Hey, it looks like you're winning, boss. The kids all want to go home. I told you that lakefront property would be mine again. We've done it. We've sunk Camp Candy. <laughs> Problem. The campers just weren't enjoying themselves. So what happened next? I still had one idea up my sleeve. An idea that might turn things completely around. <laughs> er, uh, Nurse Molly? Oh, well, hello, John. Back for some more bandages? Actually, I came to ask you a question. A question? Of me? Yes, you see, I've got... Yes, you see, I've got this crazy idea. Picture it. We're under the stars with a crackling campfire alongside us and a full moon above. What do you think? Oh, John, I absolutely adore it. <laughs> Great, that settles it. I'm taking the kids on an overnight camp out. The kids? An exciting adventure like this is bound to change their minds about Camp Candy. Believe me, once they experience it, they'll never want to go home. John, you're such a tease. Oh! I knew there was one essential ingredient I'd have to bring with me. Something that no camp out is complete without. Ants? No. A good supply of ghost stories. Let's see now. Ghost stories. Ghost stories. <gasps> What's this? Gory stories of Lake Cacciatore. Wow, this is, uh, this is pretty scary stuff. Especially this story. The legend of Gimme Gucci Woods. Suddenly, the tree shook its skeleton-like branches and let forth a ghostly moan. Uh, maybe I'd better take it back to the cabin and read it. It's uh, kind of dark in here. <laughs> okay, gang, this is it. The day we've all been looking forward to. The big overnight camp out! the spirit, kids. Yeah. Now let's check our equipment. Vanessa, do you have everything you'll need? Not really, but you said we'd be roughing it. Vanessa, you, you won't need all this stuff. It's just an overnight. So is a pajama party, and this is my standard pajama party pack. I'm afraid you'll just have to get rid of something. Well, I suppose I could survive without this. needs. Well, primo to the extremo! Do you mind? What about you, Alex? Where's all your stuff? Who needs all that fancy equipment? I'm ready to go mano a mano against Mother Nature any day of the week. Just me against the elements. Oh boy, we're gonna see elephants? Meanwhile, Rex DeForest III was putting his rotten scheme into motion. All right, the bad guys, I was hoping they'd come back. Flanagan, I want you to start bulldozing this entire area. You mean cut down all these trees? It's only a matter of days before that ridiculous summer camp goes bankrupt. I might as well start building my condos now. No way, Mr. DeForest. These woods are haunted by Indian spirits. People say they come back and get you. Why, you spineless jellyfish, you're off the project. Give me that. Chester, I'm putting you in charge of the demolition crew. <laughs> oh, gee, well, thanks, boss. You won't be sorry in the least. <laughs> Wanna bet? On top of spaghetti, all covered in cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. It rolled off the table and onto the floor. And then my poor meatball rolled out of the door. Of course, we didn't know what Rex DeForest was planning. Just like we didn't know the lyrics of the song we were singing. Uh-oh, someone's coming. Remember, it was 40 love, match point, my serve. Oh, wow, 
nuclear rats. No, Rick, those are beavers. You've heard the expression, busy as a beaver, haven't you? Well, now you see why. Their entire life is work, 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 work. Okay, campers, this is the place. Let's unpack our gear. You mean like this? Uh, yeah, well, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Everyone have enough to eat? Me. I wonder how many calories there were each of those marshmallows. Exactly 327 plus 5 grams of carbohydrates and 12 milligrams of fat. Thanks, the lump. Well, kids, here we are. A full stomach, a smoldering campfire, a mist-covered moon. We all know what that means. It's time to tell... Ghost Stories! You got it! Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm afraid I do, Iggy. Telling ghost stories is a, a camp tradition. Yeah, go on. Tell us a real scary one. Only make sure no animals get hurt in it. And above all, don't make my hair stand on end. Punk isn't my look. Okay, gang. Here comes the story. It's about the ghostly spirits that inhabit these woods. G -g -g ghost ghostly spirits? <sighs> these woods? Oh, yes. They say the spirits of the ancient Indian warriors who dwelt here still live on in the Gimiguchi forest. And some claim, on a night like this, they can actually see and hear them. Oh boy, I can see them! fellas think these woods really are haunted. John, give me a break. Do you really think you can scare anyone in that outfit? Trust me, Iggy. It's bound to work. Everyone in this area knows the legend of the haunted trees. I sure wish I had as much confidence as you do. <laughs> I sure wish I did, too. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, follow me. The uh, bulldozers. Oh! Being a farmer sure is awesome, huh? Yeah. Oh. 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 Things didn't look good, I can tell you. I was trapped. There's nothing I could do about it. So what did you do? I just told you, I couldn't do anything. Okay, you don't have to snap my head off. I'm just a little kid. Sorry, uh, I'm a little tense. Reliving that terrible experience always gets to me. Anyway, just when I thought it was all over for me, the strangest thing happened. Suddenly, the trees all around me began to take on ghostly shapes, and they began to Catch me running away from some stupid trees. And that 
was the end of Rex DeForest III's plan to bulldoze the Gimme Gucci Woods. What? Oh, hey, what's going on? <laughs> oh, thanks, fellas. <laughs> about you. Hey, you don't have to worry. I'm as strong as an oak. <laughs> you get it? So, John, what happened to those guys with the bulldozers? You should have seen it. These trees came alive and, and scared them all away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honest, it's true. Hey, what's the dip? Those values split and the force is saved. So let's party hard. You know something? It with you guys might actually be fun. Hmm, maybe I should send for my pink princess phone. Oh, brother. Yeah, maybe Binky and I will give it another chance, too. Won't we, Binky? Binky? Binky! Binky, where are you? Binky, here I am! Oh! Come on, dudes! Everybody get down and book it! Kids, if you love Nintendo, you'll love NBC's newest cartoon. He's masterful and magical, and you'll find him in the world of Nintendo Land. He's Captain N, the Game Master, with all your favorite original video characters. So get set to play with this fun-filled cartoon.